Hello and welcome to the Fake News Debunker of the West Africa Broadcast and Media Academy, Babma. Babma is a professional media training institute and a finishing school for aspiring and current media practitioners offering short and long-term certificate classes at basic, intermediate and advanced levels with campuses in Enugu, Lagos, Abuja and online. First stop, can JAM score be upgraded? A poll circulating on social media claimed that JAM score can be upgraded to meet cutoff points of universities. The claim is false. The results of the 2024 Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination UTME, have been released online and candidates with low scores are already being encouraged to improve their marks. A message that has been circulating on Facebook since April 2024 advises candidates not to panic. It claims that an upgrading team can raise their score from 250 to 320. The message has a WhatsApp link and a phone number for interested users to call. However, it is very unsafe to click on WhatsApp links posted online. Candidates with low UTME score are vulnerable to people who claim to have the ability to raise their scores. The claim is false. Nigerians shouldn't fall for these scams. Persons behind the polls are out to defraud you because they ask you to pay a certain amount of money to get what you want. Don't fall for these scams, the spokesperson for JAM, Dr. Fabian Benjamin, told Africa Check. Conclusion The claim that JAM score can be upgraded is false. Next, was there a power outage at the National Assembly during the minister's visit? An online blog, Instablog Nigeria at Instablog, posted that there was a power outage at the National Assembly when the Minister of Power, Adebayo Adelabu, was in the Senate chamber for a public hearing. The claim is true. Adelabu was in Abuja on Monday, 29th April 2024 at a one-day investigative hearing on stopping the new electricity tariff increase by the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission from onward implementation by the distribution companies. During the panel, he said the federal government requires 10 billion US dollars annually for the next 10 years to revive nation's power sector and end the liquidity challenge. A day after his visit, on the 30th April 2024, an online blog Interblog Nigeria posted a picture of the minister with the headline, Power reportedly going off at the National Assembly while the Minister of Power was in the building. The post gathered 1.9 million views. 4,918 reposts, 1,205 quotes, and over 30,000 likes. In the comments section, an ex-user, Owokodu Idris, at IGIVOR said, Was that a sabotage or coincidence? National Assembly should be running on generators or inverters during sessions with that kind of budget they have year in, year out. Desire at Desire wrote, Now minister other boys to turn off the lights. National Assembly no pay for B&A. It was observed that the mainstream media, such as Punch and Leadership Newspaper, also reported the story. It was reported that the power outage lasted for about five minutes. According to Punch Newspaper, Mr. Adelabu was answering questions from senators at an investigative hearing on the need to halt the increase of price of electricity organized by the Senate Committee on Power when the power went off. Conclusion Available evidence reveals that there was a power outage while the minister was in the building. Although it only lasted five minutes, therefore, the claim is true. Last stop. Did NUC rank Nigerians' worst universities? A blog claims that NUC has published the names of the worst universities in Nigeria. The claim is false. On 6th May 2024, a blog Daily Gist boasted that the National University Commission, NUC, has published the names of the worst universities in Nigeria. The post read in parts. The National University Commission, NUC, has published a list of the worst universities in Nigeria in its ranking. Just as there are the best universities in Nigeria, so are the worst private and public universities and colleges. A check on NUC's website showed that there is no published list of the worst universities in Nigeria. 
No such publications was also found on the university's regulatory body's social media accounts, such as X and Facebook. Daily Gist also failed to attribute the publication to any source. The NUC website or the executive secretary was not cited at the source of the publications and no link was provided to any source. The same was earlier published on the 7th January 2023 by another blog, Odogo Media Communication, but with the headline, full list, NUC publishes names of the terrible universities in Nigeria. However, such a report was not found on credible websites or news channels. Conclusion The claim that the National University Commission has published a list of the worst universities in Nigeria is false. No such list exists on the NUC website, other credible sources, or news channels. Remember to fact check anything before you share it. Don't engage, don't amplify. Do you have a story? Tag us on all our socials at Wabma Online or share with us on WhatsApp at 0902-547-8072 and we will fact check for you. Join Wabma in debunking fake stories. Share this content with your contacts. My name is Justina Mwansi.